Good evening, everyone. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Portland's next mayor is ready to defy our next president. Ted Wheeler says Portland will continue to be a sanctuary city for undocumented people. Donald Trump has threatened to withhold federal funds from cities, refusing to detain undocumented men, women, and children. So our Lisa Balick talked with Wheeler, and she joins us live. Lisa? Well, Democrat Ted Wheeler says on his watch here in just another couple of months, he will not back down from protecting values and protecting everyone who lives here. There's no place in this community for sexism or racism, religious intolerance or xenophobia. Fear of people from other countries. The next mayor of Portland clearly intends to protect everyone who lives here. He vows to keep Portland a sanctuary city. We want to make sure that women and people of color and people who have come to this country from other place feel safe and welcome in this community. The mayor-elect says now that the racism, sexism and anti-immigrant sentiment in the country is exposed, it's the nation's job to address it. Portland does not have an ordinance, though, making it officially a sanctuary city like Seattle, but assumes that role under state law and a district court ruling. But we have immigration attorneys as well as other experts taking a look at the current statute. And if we need to take steps to strengthen that legal framework, we'll take them. Are you willing to lose federal funding? I don't think the values that we've espoused in this community are up for debate. And I don't think we're going to be intimidated with the threat of the withdrawal of federal funds to backtrack on what are really fundamental values. I asked the head of a local refugee organization how much a sanctuary city designation means to those who come here from other countries. And so being a sanctuary city, that would mean a whole lot, not only to the organization, but to our community. Portland is not going to backtrack on our values. We will remain open. We will remain welcoming. And we're going to remain safe. Now, I did have a chance to ask the mayor about the destruction that went on when people were protesting in the streets in the past several days. I'll have what he said, his response to that, and what he would intend to do coming up tonight at 6. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Bailey.